So uh, we're back with the final showdown of Christmas Justice 2. Uh, we've seen, you know, the opening, uh, just kind of setting things up at the very beginning. Um, and then we saw, you know, the attack, uh, yeah, the attack in the alley, that whole setup. Uh, and then where we were left off at is uh, Jesus getting kidnapped by the elves in front of Santa's and Santa's confronting an elf on where exactly um, they took Jesus. So this is kind of classic, um, you know, setup for the end, you know, the third part, uh, third act of a, a movie. Uh, finally, you know, taking down the bad guy, figuring out who it is. And, of course, we got to have something scenic. You know, those movies, in, in a movie, like, say, The Dark Knight, or, um, I don't know, something else where, you know, it's in a, in a building under construction, or, uh, you know, that you got to have this cool scene, something something to have a good uh, showdown in, gunfight uh, and stuff. So we are actually going to do an awesome setup uh, for this final final scene um that's going to be uh, an amusement park a christmas themed amusement park and before i started going through all my um you know my setups uh, i wanted to show you how I, i'm going to set this one up it's going to be a multiple use uh setup I may even use it for some other characters outside of christmas justice like batman shot uh but i'm not sure if i'm going to do that yet i might come back to it later but we'll see what happens so we're going to do a christmas themed amusement park so what we got here is Four different tubs of mini mates uh, that I'm not using for this, and they're going to help elevate the whole scene. So I can take this fluorescent light back here, put it in the background, and, and probably throw some colored paper over it, red and green, uh, to give. Uh, I think it's called rim lighting. Um, not exactly sure on the the terminology, but um, you know, it'll help light up the back and give you a good background that kind of uh, contrasts with the dark scene and stuff. And then, like I said, I'm going to put some red and green in there just because it's Christmas. Uh, it'll give it a, a cool feel, I think. So anyways, um, and then I had to do it on both ends because our opening shot of Santa pulling up to this abandoned amusement park is going to be, you're going to see everything in the background. Uh, the long way you'll be able to fit more background in and give it a cool look. And then as Santa works his way through the amusement park, I will be shooting from my normal side in front of the desk. So uh, next after getting these tubs here, uh, we're going to put down a black surface, uh, you know, as if it's a park. Um, you know, this is used to be a background, but got so beat up. Um, I, I basically put my my space uh, scene on the back of this. I really just need to, to <laughs> glue this to, to one and uh, cut it out so it's not so big. But I also like to use it for a surface. It's all dented up. It looks like real tar. Could probably use some black paint on it just to um, cover up the white, but it gives it some scars, gives it a real world feel. Uh, so now that we got this set up, we need to do, um, you know, set up the amusement park and fill it in. So let's go to... So this is going to be the guts of... The shot um we have like uh, what four four different kinds of things that uh you'd see at a carnival or amusement park uh we have this this entryway uh that says carnival on it um but you know this is still way too spaced out so we're gonna have to find some things to fill in um just to give it a little bit more realism so uh, i'm thinking garbage cans and then we'll do some christmas trees it is a christmas themed amusement park um, but yeah, we'll start filling in with that. So we have, uh, the setup finished, um, with what I'm going to do. Uh, we have our, our fluorescent setup for rim lighting with green and, uh, uh, red, you know, for Christmas. Um, we have a background with some clouds. I don't know how those clouds are going to work out. I just started putting those in, but, uh, we'll see once I start shooting. If I need to do more, I probably will. Or even if it looks good, I may have to, um, take it all apart i just wanted to see if i could get some clouds just to get some more uh just a little bit more going on in my pictures so um yeah we got uh you know trees garbage cans um i found you know i have that fountain that i guess you would you know probably see at a uh, uh you know amusement park or carnival there's a good chance you'd see something like that um and yeah that's about it um 
I guess it's probably time to start shooting. Uh, the first shot's going to be from this end. It's Santa's car. The door is open. It's going to be him uh, standing in front of the place. And I'm probably going to hide a bunch of elves that maybe you'll see, maybe you won't, throughout the park. And then Jesus, down by that fountain tied up, uh, is uh, another thing I'll be setting up that you may not necessarily see uh, with Santa, this shot with Santa. So let's get that set up. So yeah, here we are, fully set up. We have, um, I have my carousel on, it has some lights on it, I think that'll add to it. Uh, a lot of other stuff has lights on it. This uh, carnival sign has lights uh, on the front of it. That shooting arcade has lights on the front of it. Um, that that Ferris wheel I had to gut, unfortunately, because it, it sat really high off the ground and didn't have a good look to it. Uh, I don't know if we'll get a closer shot of of it later on, but, um, yeah, this is, uh, turning out to be pretty cool. We got, um, Jesus back there by the fountain. He's all tied up. Um, and then we got elves hidden out around, um, you know, the park. This is the gauntlet that, uh, that Santa's going to have to go through to get to Jesus. Uh, the pumpkin head is not here yet, but, um, you know, that character will arrive eventually, but uh, here's basically what the opening shot's going to look like. I'm going to have to adjust that light on the left, just get it out of the, uh, you know, shot. But otherwise, um, you know, this <laughs> this is just rad. Yeah, toot my own horn here. I love this setup. This is cool. Uh, this is going to be pretty amazing uh, to, uh, you know, shoot. I'm going to enjoy this. So, anyways... Um, yeah, let's uh, move on into the carnival itself. So we have our first confrontation uh, with the elves. We got this one with uh, the axe, actually two axes. And then we got this one in the baseball with a baseball bat uh, as he's walking in, of course, uh, you know, he's being confronted. And yeah, I moved the fence, that, that white fencing kind of in back just to give it a little bit more, have a little bit more uh, going on. Um, you know, and uh, we'll do, uh, you know, some more shots with these two. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, this is pretty much a shot. So let's go on to the next uh, shot. So here's our next shot. Um, yeah, the guy with the axe is getting blown away, and then this other one's coming up on him with the bat. Um, yeah, just basically the next step in this one. I don't know if this is going to be a panel shot. This might be released as a panel shot on Instagram. I'm not entirely sure yet, but... Uh, Pretty cool shot. I would actually like to see this elf take him on with his two axes, but uh, you know he's Santa. He's gotta gotta take him down. So uh, you know there's enough action coming that um, yeah, I didn't really want to get into it too much. There's already gonna be enough panels in this last part. So, anyways, uh, on to the next uh, shot. So here we have our uh, you know confrontation. Finally, we we get Jesus back. Uh, Santa's here and he's warning him. You know, you let let them go now. Um, they got them all tied up, and there's three elves left. We still have no uh, sign of the the pumpkin faced uh, villain. Uh, I got my Ferris wheel lit up. Uh, that's Walmart, thirty bucks at Walmart. I've been wanting to buy it for a few years, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't spend the money on it. But for this this series, uh, it's just perfect, and I know I'll get other use out of it too. Um, so. Yeah, pretty cool that it lights up and, and uh, you know, I can have it lit up for pictures and stuff. So, yeah, they're confronting them. And then, um, yeah, we're going to go on to the next shot, which is uh, an actual fight. So here's our next shot. We have, um, yeah, Jesus uh, from the backside. He's cutting his uh, cord, cutting the uh, rope that's holding him up, um, trying to get Santa centered uh, in here. Uh, you know, just to have another shot with the two of them. But, um, yeah, he's cutting his rope. He's going to escape, and then we're going to have, uh, you know, him fight off, uh, you know, some of the elves with Santa, which should be pretty cool. So, all right, next shot. So this is going to be a nice, tight, up-close shot. Um, uh, you know, he's he's escaped his ropes, and now he is stabbing, <laughs> he's stabbing this elf in the neck. Um yeah, so this is gonna be pretty, pretty uh, crop, pretty tight uh, when it does come time to add it to a paneled shot, probably with his, um, uh, 
the the last shot where he is cutting the rope with his knife. So, uh, anyways, let's go to uh, a quick shot with Santa. So here's the next shot. We have um, Santa taking out that elf. Jesus has taken out the other elf. That you can see one in the very background, kind of running away. And then we're reintroduced to Pumpkin uh, Jack O' Lantern. Uh, who is right behind Jesus and ready to club him. So that'll probably be our next shot is, um, yeah, Jesus, uh, yeah, getting clubbed with that bat by this pumpkin head uh, person. So, um, and then the reveal, of course, not really too far uh, behind that, coming behind that of who exactly it is, if you haven't figured it out yet. Uh, so on to that next shot. As I said, next shot is... Uh, Jesus being pummeled by uh, the pumpkin uh, character. And then next we will do uh, Santa tackling that person. So here's our next shot. We have uh, Santa tackling uh, this the, the bad guy, the main uh, antagonist, and uh, taking that person out. Uh, Jesus is down on the ground. Uh, the next shot will be the big reveal, I believe. I might have to do another one before then, but um, the big reveal is coming. So, um, yeah, we'll see We'll see who it is finally. Let's go on to that shot. So here it is. Here's our big reveal. Um, it's Mrs. Claus. Uh, she is the pumpkin head. She's the person behind all this. Um, basically, the whole context of it is... Um, she wants Santa to retire, you know, and he does, but, uh, you know, at the retirement party, basically, uh, Santa runs off on one last mission when he's supposed to be done, and she's not happy about that, and she decides to have pay some elves to take out, uh, Jesus, and, um, you know, and then she's gonna kill him just to get rid of him, so Santa doesn't get pulled back into, uh, the life of a cop, and, um, that she fails at that, and then, you know, it backfired on her. Instead of, uh, you know, Jesus not coming over anymore, he comes over to talk to him about the elves, which angers her too. And uh, she calls the elves and then has uh, them taken out, uh, has Jesus taken out and kidnapped in front of the house. On that time that the two are talking, she calls them and then uh, has them come uh, take out Jesus. And, of course, that backfires, and then Santa, you know, grabs his gun and goes after, uh, goes looking for, um, you know, Jesus to, to save him and stuff. Um, <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyways, yeah, so she's a bad guy, and she's nuts, you know, she's crazy uh, for trying to kill him and stuff. And um, so that's pretty much it right there, and we're, we, we still got a lot of panels left, but... Uh, this is the big reveal, uh, so we'll we'll take the shot from over here where she's sitting between them. We'll have the pumpkin, you know, head on the ground and stuff in the shot, um, and that's basically uh, this paneled shot. But there's gonna be a few other. Uh, this is gonna be a paneled shot, um, and we're gonna have, uh, you know, uh, the shocked look, the shocked uh, Kevin Smith bearded uh, head on Jesus uh, standing next to Santa. Um, as we figure out who exactly, as Jesus finds out, he's shocked to figure out who it is. Santa's already figured it out. There's one shot where he's walking to his garage to show up to go save Jesus, and um, he notices the candy canes with the blood on them in his garage, and it starts. Uh, he starts figuring it out. He puts every starts putting everything together. So he has an idea of, you know, who Pumpkinhead is, um, and you know he comes, you know he comes here. He doesn't want to. He wants to save her or whatever. So that's basically what we got right here. Um, so let's see, where do we go from here? I think the next thing that we'll do, I'll do the shocked faces. You guys don't necessarily need to see that. But um, what uh, I'll do next is the cops uh, arresting her um, and taking her away. Actually, I forgot about this part here. This is uh, kind of a heart-to-heart -heart between the two of them, uh, you know, She's just like, we can be together, and he's like, you know, you need help, we're going to get you help, and uh, that's basically this touching scene, they're holding hands, he still loves his wife, even though she's nuts, uh, and tried to kill Jesus a couple times, so, yeah, basically, um, this is the last shot before uh, the cops will have the place crawling with police officers, and, um, you know, taking her away, so, on to that shot.
So here's that shot I was talking about. Uh, the police are all here cleaning up the mess. It's Santa, the chief, and then, uh, you know, Jesus. Uh, basically, the whole thing's over with. Uh, the chief, you know, is telling him, go go be with your wife, Santa, and uh, Jesus is going to head home. He's pretty exhausted after a long day of being kidnapped and hit by a car and getting beaten with candy canes and, like, all sorts of stuff happened to him, so he's ready to call it a day. Um, and this will be it for this setup. We have an epilogue uh, that we're going to do just to cover, um, you know, where things are going. Uh, this setup will be tore down. Um yeah, pretty sweet setup. I'm really glad uh, this turned out as well as it did. It gives me great ideas for uh, Batman setups with Joker and abandoned amusement parks and stuff. So awesome. Uh, this turned out really well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it except for the epilogue we'll get into in another video. That, that'll be it for this one. Um, yeah, we'll see you at that one. Uh, and then, of course, once we're done with that video, we'll do a slideshow of the whole storyline and stuff just so uh, you can watch that uh, all consecutively. So, anyways, that's it for this one. We'll see you at the next uh, video. Bye.